Hello everybody and welcome back to the shop for another exciting episode of Bob TV. Well, I'm sitting here, I've been looking at my wing all evening. <laughs> I need to stiffen them springs up a little bit. And these uh, gear is just sitting there. It was squatting these. Dad found some pretty big springs, but uh, looks like we're going to need a little more. And speaking of Dad, I went and seen him today. He's in uh, pretty good spirits and uh, feeling better. But they're going to have to operate. And I uh, sure appreciate all your guys' concern out there. And uh, I appreciate, appreciate it all. So will Dad. But I'm going to sit here and uh, take that landing gear apart. I'm going to sit you down and let you watch it in HD. But I uh, guess what the main issue is is uh, his aorta is swollen up by his heart. That needing a couple stents. And uh, they're going to have to go in there and fix it. Well, that was sure easy. If I can get that spring out of there. I know just the tool. Damn, the old extender magnet. Everybody needs one of these. But, huh, bam, there it is. Okay, now what I think I'm going to do, see, that's a pretty good size spring. We had a hard time finding springs, man. Oh, Dad looked everywhere. And, uh, man, these were pretty stiff. We thought, so I'm going to take this spring, and this is a stiff old spring here, too, but I'm going to put it inside of that spring. And, uh, bam, that ought to work. That's a good thing. I'm going to cut this in half so I have enough for both halves. But, uh, they're going to operate on old dad. And uh, he's going to be in the hospital a while. Four and a quarter. Two and an eighth. He's going to be in the hospital a while. It's not going to be an in and out thing, but it's something that's pretty common nowadays. And so I think that'll pull through just fine. And I told him, he asked me when he's flying the Thunder Chief. I said, we ain't flying nothing until you get home. There we go. I hope I didn't cut too much of that off. Didn't cut it in the center. Side to match, so it won't be lopsided. You know what I mean? Okay. Now they're both short. <laughs> boinga, boinga, boinga. Uh, another thing I had. Oh, that dude is stiff now, man. We had a hard time finding springs. Uh, really stiff, short springs like that. He found some that was really stiff, but uh, it was collapsing upon itself before it traveled this whole range, you know what I mean? It only moved about halfway and everything was, the springs were touching. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Hey, John was over Sunday. We put the Thunder Chief on, uh, on the scales. You guys never guess what it weighed. This was everything except the batteries in it. 38 pounds. That is awesome. 38 pounds. So we figure we got a couple more pounds of batteries and stuff in the cockpit. So we're looking at coming out about 42 pounds. 42 pounds ready to fly with no fuel. Which is awesome. That was that's under my under my projected weight. I was guessing 45 all along, hoping. Now this gear, I think that one is too. It's a little bit towed out. So what I'm going to do to fix it, I could loosen these and turn them a little bit. And, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this one. This one seems to be worse. But I think in, in my next wings, I need to, uh, this whole block, straighten it out just a tad bit. And that will take care of that issue. But I want to put me a mark on here. So I know where I started. But, uh, back to Dad again. Uh, man, we sure appreciate all your guys' comments and concern. Oh, Dad's a good person, I think. He's a tough old guy. He's old school. You guys know that. And I think old Dad's gonna pull through it just fine. He ain't done playing with airplanes. He just loves this stuff. You know. So, but I'll keep you guys updated. <clears throat> They're going to wait a couple days before they operate. They want to uh, uh, get his heart a little stronger. Whatever that meant. That's that funny size. There's one size that I just can't never find a wrench for. You guys ever run into that? Ah. Okay. Now this was towed out too much. so I can see how much I actually move it. And we don't want to move it very much, man. Just a frickle. You know, keep me from wearing out a set of tires every time I blaze down the runway with over 50 pounds of thrust. On a jet that weighs 42 pounds. But takeoff weight, we're gonna have to add, see, we're, I was looking at what, uh, 
gallon and a quarter of fuel, gallon and a third, something like that. So we're looking at about 10 pounds of gas. So takeoff weight is going to be 52 pounds with 55 pounds of thrust. So we're pretty much looking at hitting the end of the runway and going vertical. <laughs> with the Thunder Chief. Gonna be fun, fun, can't wait. You know, the problem if we wanted to make these stiffer, you know, sometimes we can get in here and put little blocks of wood, you know, dowel rod or something. But you got to watch this because if you do the, if it, too much, it'll collapse upon itself before it reaches its full travel. So we're kind of limited to doing that from doing that because we need the movement. That'll, that'll really help right there. That'll fix our problem. I do to be stiff now. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we gotta get this Thunder Chief ready for old dad gets out. This is how I kind of deal with it best anyway. You know, come out to the shop, talk to you guys for a little bit, work on the Thunder Chief. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice now. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now about to see, here I go. I got all my stuff dug out again and bench is already getting messy. Look at that. I just did cleaned off today. This morning. Well, there's a good shot of my duck work. See how nice everything fits. I got uh, this figured out, uh, how I'm going to fasten this. I uh, got these servo mounts. I won them in uh, one of the pilot prizes in uh, Arizona. I'm going to fix them to the side. They're kind of in L shape. I got some aluminum ones too, but, and uh, fasten them to that bulkhead. Put a couple of screws through there to hold them. But all that fits real nice, real tight. Looking on the inside, where my flashlight go? Bam! Real nice and clean inside. Gonna be some nice airflow, huh? I believe that'll work, sir. Okay. Man, it's a long movie. Fifteen minutes. I know a lot of people say, man, you know, you can make longer movies now. Uh, hey, did you guys know us partners can uh, make real long movies? I'm going to say they make a 30-minute movie. But, uh, <clears throat> that's how that goes. No, I can make longer movies. I just like that 10-minute video on that other camera. They load so fast. You know, and uh, this movie here, I'm going to put it in and go to bed. <laughs> It'll take a long time. It's a three or four hour download right here. But I'll hit y'all with some, D, some HD too. 
But most of the time, we're going to switch back to my old camera. I sure like that thing. It might not be the best, but it sure downloads quick. You know what I mean? So, that's that. Landing gear's fixed. Spring problem's fixed. Uh, now, I just need to put the servos in. Here's my doors for the flaps. I believe I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, Mount these servos to the door. It's just old school luck. We usually do it. And don't worry about that fancy stuff later. And I'm just going to cut a hole here. Mount servos. Done the chief be done. And uh, as soon as old dad gets out the hospital, we'll get a flight on it. But this thing ain't leaving the ground until dad gets out. So stay tuned. I'll still make y'all some movies. And, uh, We'll see you back in the shop.